Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about entomologist crop species classification, and I am going to cover the core topic cotton, which is the classification of insect pest of cotton pod two. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about the sucking insect as well as the defoliators of the cotton. So as well as I have already given the common name, scientific name, as well as their family and order in this table. So let's move and see about each and every pest present in the cotton as a part two of the video. So the first one we are going to see is leaf hopper, where the distribution is set to be throughout the India, especially in Punjab, Karnataka, and Tamil Nadu. And uh, some other alternative host for leaf hoppers are Benjal, Bendy, Potato, and uh, Holy Hawk. So the major damaging symptom is the hopper bone symptom, where the bronzing as well as backward or downward curling of leaves leaves is said to be uh, seen. And the plant become is said to be stunted and in several cases the whole plant is said to be killed and uh, while seeing about the biology which is said to be elongate yellowish uh, single laid egg and the nymph which is said to be a green colored one and a bit shaped in color shaped in size which is said to be around the life period of around 7 to 10 days and the adult which is said to be green in color and it is said to be active one so the economic threshold level for leaf hoppers are 50 numbers per 50 leaves so the economic threshold level for leaf hoppers must need to be checked each and every time and the managements or use of resistant varieties like mcu 3 5 and 9 and also setting up of light traps to monitor the brood of leaf hoppers to attract and kill and early sowing and close spacing of cotton which you use it to reduce us pest infestation particularly in the heavy rainfall areas and also we can be able to go for release of predators like Chrysopa cornea in the field level or else we can be able to go move for the chemical springs like imidacloprid, methyl, dematon, dimethoate, pospamidon, monocrotopos and neem seed kernel etc at the particular insecticide level and so the next one is aphids so which is to be found in all cotton growing areas and some of the alternative hosts are bendy binjol potato chilies watermelon gova teak and holy hawk so the major damaging symptom is crinkling and downward cupping of the leaves so you can able to see that in the picture where the leaves used to show yeah, cupping symptoms and there is also a stunted growth of plant due to the aphids and which you uh, the presence of aphids which also use it to the development of secondary infections like black sooty mold present on the upper surface of the leaves due to the excretion of honeydew secretion mm, which is caused by aphids and so the biology so the one female can be able to produce as around 80 young females then mature within 8 to 10 days and so they can able to go for around 50 generations per year and odd adults are females and uh, aphids which you use it to reproduce rapidly hold around the year and so the identification of pest for aphids are the nymph which is said to be yellowish or greenish brown found on the under surface of leaves and the adult which is said to be greenish brown soft bodied as well as small insects so the winged form can be seen in the under crowded conditions and so the next one is management uh, where the economic threshold level is 15 percentage of infested plants present in the field level so the management practices we can able to go for by control release of by control parasitoids like coquinelli beetles and uh, epinis mali and epinis flavis menolo menoculus sex maculatus so some of these uh, by control agents uh, which is the parasitoids can be released can control the aphids and so see treatment with imidacloprid at uh, 70 WES at 7 gram per kg can product the crop up to 8 weeks also we must need to go for the following insecticide sprayings so they are imidacloprid, methyl dematon, dimethoate, posformidon, monocrotopos, NSKE etc and monitoring activities for the allied adults by setting L uh, sticky yellow traps is said to be an um, effective for um, monitoring the presence of aphids in the field level and the next one is thrips so thrips uh, while seeing about the symptom of damage so which used to have a silvery shine on the under surface of the leaves due to the presence of thrips attacks and they use it to attack at the terminal bud which used to have raged edges and so the identification of the pest where the nymph is said to be very minute slender and a yellowish or microscopic in color 
and the adult which is said to be small slender yellowish to brown fringed with wings so the biology of the thrips are they use it to grow found on uh, most of the areas throughout the year and the eggs are said to be inserted inside the um, plant tissue so which is uh, uh, due to the presence of the females special characters like short egg laying tube where the oviposter is said to be um, presence with a needle like so they can able to pierce to the plant tissue and lay their egg inside the plant and the eggs which used to hatch around 6 days so they are used to have two larval stages which used to require six days for completion and so the management is uh, spraying of insecticides like imidacloprid methyl dematon dimethoate nske at the particular recommendation in the field level and so the next one is a white fly where the scientific name is bemisia tabaki and so the symptom of damage is the major symptom is uh, the premature defoliation and it also a transmitter of leaf curl virus disease in cotton and so the biology where you can able to see the minute insects which used to be present with yellow body covered with white waxy glooms on the surface of the leaves and eggs are laid so to be laid singly on the leaves and the nymphs are said to be greenish yellow in color and so the identification we can able to see a white fly of around 1 board um, 16 inch long with a snowy white in color and so the immatures usually found on the under surface of the leaves and the white fly eggs are visible only under magnification at the periodic days of 5 to 6 and the total life cycle is said to be around 15 days and so the management is uh, growing cotton only once in a, either in winter or summer season and also removal of alternate wheat host present in the field level and timely sowing with the recommended spacing field sanitation must be given with proper attention and setting up of yellow tracks at um, yellow sticky traps at 25 per hectare which helps us to uh, monitor the presence of these insects and the weekend the final one we can able to go for the spraying of chemical insecticides like methyl dematon pos polin quinal pos monocroto pos etc in the field level is the final ma- management measures so we must need to avoid the use of synthetic parasites so which can able to um, avoid the problem in white fly and some other um, some synthetic parasites which used to cause resurgence of white fly so avoid repeat, uh, repeated spraying of parasites in the field level so that we can able to Uh, slow down the resistant uh, activities present in the white flies so the next one is a red cotton bug where the scientific name is the De- distercus cingulatus so the symptom of damage is the cotton which used to show red stained lint and uh, rotting bolts and so the inner bowl used to sh- show a water soaked spots and the young bolts about and turn dark brown in color so which is not mainly due to these insects but it used to make the entry of secondary infections uh, causing bacteria like nematospora gossypii in the cotton so which use it to make a dark briny um, blacky appearance with a uh, water soaked symptom on the field level so the management practices for red cotton bug is uh, so the infested leaves bowls can be shaken in water and drown and so the plow to expose the uh, expose the eggs in the field level is an excellent management for red cotton bugs and so the final management is spraying uh, pospodium midon 40 sl at 600 ml per hectare is an effective management and the next one is dusky cotton bug so which used to give as similar appearance like red cotton bug but it used to have a dusky color in nature and the scientific name is oxycarnius hyaline penis so the symptom of damage where they use it to suck the sap from developing seeds in open bowls and also they use it to stain the lint black and the seeds are discolored and shrunken in shape and the next one is mealybugs where the scientific name is pinococcus so solinopsis and some other species of peri perisa species and uh, macronelicoccus species so the major symptom of damage hemi clustering of mealybug is used to be seen under the surface of the licks so in several cases they used to form a thick mat with their waxy secretion so which used to make a honeydew secretion in the crops and also use the 
secondary fungus sooty mold infection in the field level so the affected plant which used to be sick and resulting in the reduced fruiting capacity so some of the infections as well as the incidents caused by papaya mealybug you can able to see that in the cotton field in these pictures so it is the picture of the female one and newly emerged crawlers as well as the mealybug with the ov sacs present in them so the some other alternative holds of mealybugs are so the parthenium is said to be a favorite one in the wheat type and also it uh, also multiplies on okra brinjal and tomato and uh, we must need to remember that so mealybug is a polypagus pest so it can able to multiply on different hosts and it also used to breed on different weeds and also migrate to um, copper and cotton crops once the cultivation is said to be done so while seeing about the biology they used to have around 12 to 15 generations in the year and uh, the species uh, used to survive under cold condition in eggs uh, such as an ovi sacs and other also in other stages so both the host plant or in the soil um, must need to be eradicated so the insects which used to remain active in the warmer climates and also reproduce a uh, whole round the year so we must need to take immediate measures once we saw the mealybug infestations and so the management practices we can able to go for mealybug infestations or removal of uh, alternative host plants or weeds like parthenium weed and other host weeds in the field and around the field and do not throw obtruded weeds in the water channel and so destroy all and cannabis during a land preparation which use it to control effectively the mealybugs so we must need to remember the mode of spread of the mealybugs or uh, which use it to take in three forms which is to be done by water air or as well as human also act as a mode of spread for these mealybugs so the management practices we can able to you know, do in for the mealybug infestation or locate ant colonies and destroy them and also wash the equipments with a jet of water or spraying with the chemical insecticides before moving to the uninfected portion of the crops and spot application helps in the conservation uh, conservation of cochineal beetle wasp etc which are important predators of mealybugs and nymphs so these are some of the predators pictures so of the mealybug so we can able to finally go for the chemical sprayings like carboryl thiocarbate uh, propofenopause and uh, acyphate at the recommended dose um, in the field level so the next one is scale insects so the major scale insects we can able to see the symptom of yellowing of leaves and stunting of plants and weak appearance of plants so the economic threshold levels for um, the sucking insect is given in these ones and so the some of the new insecticides for cotton sucking plants with the seed treatment as well as uh, for cotton sucking pest wise uh, i have given them and so the some of the designer seeds and uh, some other economic threshold levels and uh, so the resurgent causing chemicals which can we must need to uh, be taken in care once we are going to spray in the field level and some uh, now we can able to move for defoliators so in defoliators so some other species so i have given the common name scientific name and the family as well as the order so first we are going to see about the leaf rollers where the symptom of damage which used to form a trumpet fastening silk and threads inside the leaves so they were used to found on the marginal portion of the leaves eaten away so the plant defoliation uh, used to be occur in several attacks so while seeing about the identification larva which is to be bright green color with a dark head and prostic seal and adult which is to be a moth with yellow wings having brown wax uh, wavy margins so it is the picture of larva as well as the adult ones and so the management is collection and destruction of the shredded uh, plant pots and hand picking and destruction of grown caterpillars in the field level as on as the final management we can able to go for chemical spraying like chloripyrifos uh, phenytrothion and or dichlorwas in the field level so now the next one is tobacco caterpillar one of the serious pest in cotton so where the scientific name is Spodoptera lutura, which is it comes under the family Noctidae, and order Lepidoptera, so which is said to be act as a defoliator as well as a bollworm in the cotton plant. So the major symptom of damage is uh, the during several attack the uh, only the stem and side shoots are said to be standing out in the field without any leaves or bolts. 
and we can able to see a large irregular holes on the leaves as well as a typical symptom of attack present in them so the identification of pest which is to be where the exist lady is to be in the mosses and the larva which is to be pale greenish with the dark marking which is to be a gregarious feeder in early stages and the adult where the four wings are bright you know, brown color with the wavy white markings and the hind wings which is to be white color with a brown patch along the margin so the management is a setting up of light traps and growing castor along the border tops and removal and destruction of early stages of larva in clusters hand picking and destruction of blown larva and the final one we can able to go for the chemical parasites or oral uh, chemical sprayings or also we can able to go for nuclear polyhydrovirus sprayings in the field level and also we must need to use the poison baits in the field level and the next one is semilupus where the comes into the family noctidae and also from the order of lepidoptera so i have given their common name with their uh, same difference uh, so these are the, the pictures of ani anomis flava and the next one is xanthodes gray c and the next one we are going to see is ash weevil so where the first scientific name is myloceras maculosus and some other species of sub fastic facciatus uh, verandatus and discolorus so the major symptom of damage by ash weevils are leaf margin notching and wilting of plants in patches and the plant can come easily when the full house which, which is mainly caused by the grubs used to do eat away the roots so it, these are the pictures of ash weevil so the management is crop rotation but uh, we must need to avoid brinjal cropping in the field level and also plow deeply to expose the larva as well as pupa to the hot sun and predatory birds and the soil application of carbofuran granules in the endemic area is an effective measure and the soil drenching of monocrotopus or chloripetopus as a curative measure so some of the predators of cotton pest uh, i have uh, listed out them as the pictures uh, so i have given the lecture notes in description so comment about the video and join us in the instagram page if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch up in next videos